Hey, seniors, how you doing? It is Friday. I'm glad that you made it to the end of the week. Um, this was a long week. I guarantee that. I know that was was you know we did a lot this week. We had kind of a weird schedule. We're still trying to get into the groove of things. So I am glad that you guys stuck with it. Let's take a look at what we got going on today. So first off, uh, if I pull up our schedule here, our big one essential question today is: Can I? identify and analyze a character's trait. Now that's two things that you're doing. And what does that mean? So first off, identify, that's pretty obvious, right? When I look at Beowulf and I'm trying to say that he's heroic or he's a hero or he's a great leader or a great person or a great warrior, we want to start with that. So we want to start with what was that characteristic, right? Was he a leader? Was he dedicated? Was he committed? Was he loyal? Was he chivalrous? Whatever that might be, right? And then the other part is analyze that character trait. And so that's where we start to say, this is what it means. Here's an example from the text. And here's how that example backs up the claim that I am making. Okay. So that's really what we want to try to accomplish today. So our work that we'll be doing today, we are going to focus on our spiel writing. Uh, this is a constructed response, but we're going to use the spiel method to deliver or to create that message. Uh, and then our, our 80s movie quote of the day. Uh, oh, this is the worst looking hat I ever saw. What? When you bought that hat, I bet they gave you a free bowl of soup, huh? Oh, it looks good on you, though. Uh, that's from the movie Caddyshack. And we actually watched a clip from Caddyshack the other day. So, you know, you have, you've had double exposure to that now. Let's take a look at our assignment for today. If you go into classwork, and you go into today's date, which is August the 26th, you will see this assignment, Beowulf and the Battle with Grendel Constructed Response. And like we talked about all week, we're really going to focus on characterization. And characterization is when we see something about the character and the author has revealed that information to us through either direct characterization, meaning the, the author tells us he is this, he is this, he is this, or indirect in that we look at what he says, what he looks like, what he does, how he impacts other people, and we use that information to draw those conclusions, okay? So when we look at the Spiel method of creating our constructive response, we're going to start with a summary. This is going to be a one or two sentence recap of what Beowulf was. Now, if you think about at the end of our annotations, you wrote a, a summary, right? You wrote a summary of what that story was and the highlights and the big points and everything. So this is like a real quick one, uh, no more than two sentence retelling of that. So you could literally go to your annotations and use some of those, uh, some of that summary in this summary here. So again, we want to show you how all these pieces are coming together, right? So, you know, this is something like, you know, the story of, of Beowulf and the Battle of the Grendel is about how this hero... Um, was called upon to rid uh, the Geats of the monster Grendel and does so in a heroic fashion. Whatever, you, you use that, uh, that brief overview of what the story is. And what that does is that proves to the audience, the reader, the receiver of this uh, writing, that you have an understanding of what the story is and that we understand how this character came from that story. The second point then, or the second piece is point or P, and that's the point you want to make. That's the answer to this question. So if we start off by saying what makes him heroic or what makes him a great leader or what makes him a good person, the answer there is the P. So that, you know, he was heroic, he was dedicated, he's loyal, whatever, right? E, the example, this is where you go to the text and you pull out that example. So you look for an example of if, for instance, loyal, loyalty. So you go and you look for that piece of loyalty and you bring it back and you put it in here. And then we analyze it, A, and that's how we explain that this example proves our point. We want to be able to tie those together. It's not enough to say, look, here it is. Here's loyal here. Like, how do you know he's loyal? How do you know that proves that point? How do you get it, right? And then we get to the last piece, which is the link. And this is where you connect your answer to something else, right? So this is the application of, 
this is the application of your idea. So you either talk about how it compares to someone else who's loyal or what you think about loyalty or what you think about, you know, whatever your answer was, right? Uh, so this is your take on it or you connect it to some other piece. We do start with this pre-writing chart. Uh, again, we told you that we will provide this with you on most of our constructive responses. This is just a place for you to gather your thoughts so that when you get to the spiel writing, uh, you have all the information in place. Okay. Now, this is not graded. Okay. So you are not being graded on what you write in this. That doesn't mean you blow it off. That doesn't mean you pass over it, uh, but you're not being graded on this. This is purely for you to help you gather all your ideas and get a good running start at your answer. So how would you summarize the text? What is the character or trait that you would see in Beowulf? What is an example of that trait from the text? How do you know that that, uh, that proves your point? And then what do you link it to? Those are the, the five pieces. And then down here, you get again the prompt and then you type in your answer right here. I like to remind you that I know it says, you know, there's five points. I know it's real easy to go, oh, five points, five sentences. Yes that would be correct. And there's nothing wrong with that. You could combine a couple sentences. You could combine the example and the analysis, for instance. Uh, you could have two sentences for the summary, right? So you could have more than uh, five. You could have less than five. But the idea is that you have all these pieces because all those pieces work together to produce a complete answer that states your position, backs it up, and explains it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do today, Friday the 26th. This is our assignment for today. Uh, if you put your mind to it, this should be easy to do. You should be able to get this accomplished. Uh, we're going to kind of walk through the first parts of it today in class and then turn you loose on the rest of it. There's no reason that we don't get this done uh, today in class. So uh, as you are working on this, if you need something, please make sure you're reaching out to Ms. McGuire I so that we can answer those questions. And good luck, everybody.